So today we're going to talk about index fossils and volcanic ash and how these things are useful for us to date rock layers and figure out how old things are. So to understand how we date <clears throat> rock layers, we need to review how sedimentary rocks are formed. Remember that sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments, small rock particles, and normally these sediments will deposit in a large body of water such as an ocean. And what these sediments start to do is they start to build up on top of each other and the pressure starts to make them compact together or press together. And some of the salt crystals within the ocean might also glue these layers together to eventually form sedimentary rock layers. And that's why a lot of sedimentary rocks, you'll see layers on them. But since this process takes so long, sometimes what happens is ancient organisms may live and die and their remains may get trapped within these rock layers as they form. And what's helpful is for geologists is to find these ancient fossils. A fossil is a remain, a preserved remain of an ancient organism, and figure out how old that rock layer is and how old every, then everything within that rock layer is. And each rock layer is a different age. So special fossils are useful for this, and we call these special fossils index fossils. Index fossils are fossils that are specifically used to date and correlate or compare the ages of different rock layers. Let's write that down. So take out your note packet and write down this highlighted area, index fossils. Index fossil is our, a fossil that is useful for dating and correlating rock layers. Go ahead and pause this video. So why are index fossils so helpful in dating rocks? They only live for a very short period of time. So this is an example of an index fossil. It's a brachiopod. It is an ancient organism that only lived for a very short period of time. So say for using this image as an ex example, say a brachiopod is 200 million years old. If I find this brachiopod is lo in location A in this layer, and then I find this brachiopod in a whole other location, location B, in this rock layer, then I know both these rock layers in these different locations are also 200 million years old because that's where I found these brachiopods that lived only for that amount of time. They're that old. And they're so short, they lived in such a short period of time that they don't overlap with other periods of time or other eras or, and so on. So here's another example of an index fossil. This is a trilobite. It's very old, it's very ancient, and uh, it also lived for a short period of time. But this fossil, or index fossils in general, also need to be abundant. They are being used to help date rock layers. So it's good that if they are found all over the world and they're easy to find. So say, say I find this trilobite in outcrop one, outcrop two, outcrop three. Outcrop are just three different locations. And I find this trilobite in this layer in this location, this layer in this location, and this layer in this location. That just means even though this is all three different areas in the world, I know that this layer in the world versus this rock layer in the world versus this rock layer in the world are all the same age and everything within that rock layer should also be around that same age. And one other thing we want index fossil to have or quality we want it to have is it to be widespread. We can find it all over the world. It's easy to find and it lived in a short period of time. So we know exactly what time we're looking at when we find this fossil. Um, another thing that's really helpful to date um, rocks is also volcanic ash because when a volcano erupts, the volcanic ash is also widespread. It spreads in a long, um, in a long distance. It's abundant. You can find a lot of it, and uh, it also happened in a short period of time. So. Uh, what's also helpful in volcanic ash, which we'll talk about in the future, is that it has potassium in it and pot potassium-40, and that can be really helpful to date the rocks as well. So say this volcanic ash is 495 million years um, old, this volcanic ash is 510 million years old, I know every other rock layer in between is somewhere the age between these two ages. 
of volcanic ash. Same thing here. If I know this volcanic ash layer in the rock layers is 520, this volcanic ash layer is 545 million years old, I know everything in between this rock layer here should be an age between these two numbers. So that's really helpful in dating rock layers. So let's write that down in your notes. Index fossils and volcanic ash are, I let, use this to help me remember, saw short-lived they need to be sh uh, only live for a short period of time so we know what time period we we're looking at when we find them they need to be abundant and widespread saw s-a-w go ahead and pause this video and that's about it for this video thank you